All right, Clayton, stable in cracking form. Long may it continue. And you start off in the first race with Vasim. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bon, uh, yeah, he's, he's also it's actually uh, showing us some, some decent type of work, you know. Um, uh, very nicely bred horse. Um, you know, he's, he's improved from his first start. Um, so, yeah, I think he'll appreciate the step up and trip. And, uh, yeah, with Anton on, uh, you know, he'll be given every opportunity to, to come through and share his maiden. Both Magic Vision and War Jewel represent the sham stable. Yeah, Andrew, um, Wardle's been getting there slowly. I think we asked too much of him as an early juvenile. Uh, he just looked like he was going to sprint, and um, but really he is looking to go more to Wards versus and Gedricks, probably see a little bit more ground. He's gradually been improving. This is his first time round the turn, and um, he drew nicely. Uh, Pomi and Zorka have been doing a lot of work, and um, I'm hoping to see that same improvement. Magic Vision... Um, Probably really ideally suited to this kind of distance and he's been uh, taking a bit of a breath in the middle of races, finding his feet and running on. Unfortunately, he's drawn right on the outside, but um, we decided to, to let him have the run mostly as a uh, further step in his education. I would like to still see him running on though. You start off in the first race with Tiger's Rock at Turfontaine on Saturday. Thanks, Andrew. Yes, he's a nice horse. Um, he's done really well. He was a little bit unlucky last time. It was a rough race and he got caught out wide. It is a little bit of a strong field, but he's doing really well and we're expecting him to run a big race. So he's definitely a roving banker for trifectas and quartets? I would think so, yes. He's one of the horses that you would play around. Fantastic. Then on to Diorama in the second race, Philly. Yeah, she, she has sort of uh, improved in her work back home. So, uh, yeah, we're looking for a forward run from her as well. And then you move on to the second race where you've got Flagship Fund. Yeah, her too. Her family suggests she's going to go ground and she has been showing that, doing her best work at the finish um, over the vol, the longest straight. This is quite a test for her. Again, not well drawn. Uh, Chase quietly confident though that if he can tuck her in, um, she should be finding her feet late. Yes, uh, she's, she's a decent filly. We're going up to a mile this time. I think she's looking for a mile plus. Uh, it's quite a strongish field. I'm hoping for a place. Super. Then we move on to the third race where you've got Komanechi. Also a lovely filly, Andrew. She's uh, done really well. Um, after her maiden win, we've had to go assessment plates and feature races. So she hasn't really had the chance to, to run against a weaker type field. Not that I'm saying this is really weak because she's got to take on Arabian Air and Crown Guardian. But off the weights, I think um, she'll run very well. She's definitely looking for the 14.50 and off a good draw, we expect a big run. A lot in her favour. A lot in her favour. We're on to a fraud in race four with Shady Affair. Yeah, we started with a fraud. Uh, yeah, also, also it's um, definitely better to go further. He, you know, he's probably looking for further. But uh, he's been showing us some very nice work. He's, you know, he's, he's also has a bit of class about him, I think. But yeah, he would definitely come in with a run. Uh, I wouldn't discount him, you know, if he runs on and, and runs a, a decent enough forward race, then, you know, we, we have, we, we've certainly got an idea of where we are with him. Uh, Shady Affair, uh, possibly uh, looking for further. He does have a, a, a draw to overcome, but um, yeah, also, also it's been showing us some decent enough work. Uh, possibly one to look at, uh, you know, in the, in the future with, with, with more ground. Okay, lovely. And then La Gertha is in race number five. Yeah, uh, also Im improved in her work uh, for after her first start. Um, yeah, I, I do think that she can she can obviously be competitive. Uh, doesn't look a particularly strong field with all due respect to other runners. So yeah, if she if she does if she does bring her, her work her current work to the races, then uh, we could have a shot with her as well. Uh, she needs a little bit further. We're just hoping for a bit of an improved run. Dabian, he's obviously not going to Hollywood, but um, he'll have his day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, he looks well. He's, his work's been pretty decent. Uh, I thought he's come down to a nice competitive rating. And his form line's not that bad. So, yeah, we, we're obviously expecting him to, to run a forward race there. Give me hope, Joanna. She's going to be as fit as a fiddle? She is. Uh, she's a very fit horse. She looks well. Uh, her work's always decent. Uh, she's an honest horse. You know, she tries. She runs with all her heart. And, uh, yeah, look... Um, if, if she brings uh, her work to the course, as she usually does, then I don't see why she can't be competitive. The sixth race sees a horse that's clearly named after your boss, Joey Seimer. Yes, and, and rightly so. <laughs> <laughs> rightly so, no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, also, he's done well. He's uh, won his races. He pulled up sore after his last start, which we've had to give him a break, of course. Freshened him up. He'll need the run, but he's a horse to follow in the next two or three starts. 
this is an ideal trip for Rocky. Uh, he's doing well at home, and uh, I think he has a decent each-way chance. Kremlin judgment. I know Team De Kock never believe in the second run of the layoff, but he did run a, a good race, five lengths off them about, after a lengthy time off the track. Yes, considering the time that he, that he was off, he ran a creditable race. Um, yeah, obviously I think he'd still be in need of an, another start before we can actually be competitive with him. And yeah, he's obviously looking for further as well. So maybe, you know, maybe one to watch in the, in, in the near future in his following run, his third run after layoff, going over a bit more ground. So, but I'm sure he'll be, he'll be doing his best work at the finish. Fantastic. And then on to Marshall Foch in rate seven along with Triple Z. Uh, Marshall Foch is on the up. The form was franked on Tuesday at the Vol. So we're hoping for a good one out the maidens. Triple Z, he's just joined the stable. He's working well, but I don't really know much about him. Lovely. And then you put the lid on the day with Faria. Yeah, Faria, uh, yeah, she's been quite honest. You know, she's always been there and thereabouts. Uh, yeah, her work's been pretty decent. She's, she's in a good space. So, you know, if, if she runs into the money, or, or uh, it would be a bonus to win, you know. So obviously we, we, we try and be transparent as much as we possibly can. But, um, yeah. All our runners are, are doing well for Saturday, so hopefully a good day is in, in order. Hopefully more of the same. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we're here to train winners and we're here to see the horses achieve. And yeah, if, if they all well and, and, and fit enough, then we should be competitive. Then we have a horse that uh, has performed very well, named after a very good horse that raced in yesteryear, a horse called Tammany Hall in the 8th of the afternoon. Yes, uh, Tammany Hall, she loves the turf and inside track. Um, Muzi gets on quite well with her and uh, she has to be included, she will be there at the end. There's something in the back of my mind niggling about Long Pond's last start. I'm just thinking that she might be better than that. Oh, a lot better. Um, that's what we feel as well. Uh, she was going to, um, she was a reserve runner on Thursday over the 2000 and uh, when her draw came out here over the 1600 she'd drawn much better. And um, I think possibly this is a better race. She's been running on over the shorter distances, and uh, I hope that that confidence will show here and she'll run on well. Uh, Destiny's game is fit and well. It's just pity about the draw, but uh, she's well and we have to run her, so we're going to take our chances from the draw. When she normally we're going to sit her in, so we're hoping for a bit of luck in running, and she'll have to go into all exotics. Okay, and her stable companion, frankly, will she be making the pace or is she a completely different type of filly? Well, she was supposed to run about 10 days ago and she got injured in the pens, so we didn't learn much about her. Uh, we're trying to over a bit of a trip this time, uh, trying to get her to settle. Uh, I don't know, as I said, I don't know, she's just joined the stable. I don't know much about her, but her well-being, she looks good.